Hey everyone, I'm out today because we're going to be changing the inner track or end into Mercedes 54 plate. I can't remember what it is, I think it's a C22, 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 CLK. Boom, we got it in the end. But we're changing the, 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 the track or end in it. So we're going to start up at the front, I'm going to get you into position here. As you can see, here's the the outer track rod is here, and then follows back onto the inner track rod here. If I give the wheel a little bit of a jiggle, you can see all that movement in it there. So we're going to replace that and the boot. To First thing I want to do is soak these nuts and bolts in some penetrating fluid. Once that's soaked, you want to undo this lock nut here. Now the way you want to undo this is actually by tightening it, because when you loosen it, it pinches against this and stops this from working loose. So you want to tighten this up so it goes up the threads up there. Get a 21mm span it. Like that. Not too loose, because you want to add a marker for the next one. Alright, now we're going to remove this nut here. That's a... 22 mil. Just crack that off. Right, now what we're going to do is remove this, and what's holding that on now, it's in there nice and firm, it's friction, this, this comes out like a cone, and it's pressed into there. So um, what you could do is you could use a splitter in there, but it potentially rips this boot. It means we're not replacing this, so we don't want to have to replace it. What we're going to do is hit on the knuckle there, with a hammer, and that will send vibrations through that will knock it free. Eventually. And I know a lot of you are going to say hit it properly, but we don't want to damage this in any way. So just take your time and just give it a couple of hits. How many? It doesn't really matter. Those are all in the right place. With that out, we can just twist this off now. But what we want to do is count the amount of twists. So uh, you know how to put it back on afterwards because you want the tracking to be roughly in the same place. You're going to need the tracking redone, but you want to get as best as possible. I'm going to call that 14 and a half, but you want to write that down. You want to write that on that 14 and a half so you don't forget it. Now we're going to cut this old boot off. It's all broken anyway, so it's not like we're going to reuse it. So let's just cut it. If you're going to reuse yours, um, just break the eclipse on it. Like so, and just slide it off. But it's all damaged up there, so we just want to cut it all off. And get into it. Right, we've got that boot off now. I used some side cutters um, because I didn't go and get my utility knife. But that would have been the easier option. So if you've got a utility knife, use one of them. But now we've got this exposed, you can see this is the joint here. It's like a little ball joint seam. If I give it a little pull, with my hand back here. You can see that movement, and I'm hoping that the camera can pick up the sound of that movement. What we need to do is grab this and 
twist it out. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera there, but it is a little hex over there. Well, it's not, it's quite a big hex here that you need to grab and twist off. So I've got a special tool for that. It's going to be tight, but you also want to be gentle. So you're going to put as much force as you gently can. Gently? Gently? Is that a word? Gently can. I just made up a word on it to crack it off. And it's just to crack it off once it's loose. It just spins out. And there we are. Let's see what the play is like in it here. You can see a bit better. Right now, what we're going to do is just quite simply twist it back in. Hopefully. Let's just check the threads are okay. I started now just just into place. We're putting this one, the inner one, the outer one, sorry, back on. And we got a spanner. As you can see, it's spinning, it's not tightening up. So a little trick that I use is I jack it up on the ball joint, on the bottom of the arm here. And what that does, it, lets it holds it in place. So the table will hold it now. As you can see, it's no longer spinning. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and please subscribe. You can always do with more subscribers. Cheers, thank you. Bye.